ओके गाइस वेलकम विद एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक ऑफ इकोनोमेट्रिक्स क्वांटाइल रिग्रेशन प्रीवियसली यू हैव गॉन थ्रू सिंपल रिग्रेशन मल्टीपल रिग्रेशन एंड पेयर वाइज रिग्रेशन नो वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स एन एन अदर इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज क्वांटाइल रिग्रेशन अ स्टैंडर्ड रिग्रेशन अप्रोचेज effectively model the mean of the dependent variable that is they capture average value of y given the average values of all the explanatory variable we got of course calculate from the fitted regression line the value that y would take for any value of the explanatory variable but it would be an extrapolation of the behavior of the relationship of the relationship between y and x at the mean to the remainder of the delta okay why this approach uh, will be sub optional uh, as compared to simple or multiple linear regression suppose that it is of interest to capture the cross sectional relationship across countries between the degree of freedom of regulation of banks and gross domestic product okay starting from a very low uh, level of regulation that is no regulation an increase in the regulation is likely to encourage a rise in economic activity as the banking system function functions better as a result of more trust and stability in the financial environment however there is likely to come a point where further increasing the amount of regulation may impede economic growth by by shifting innovation and responsiveness of banking sector to the needs of industries it services it serves thus we may think of there being a non linear relationship between the regulation and gdp growth and estimating a standard linear regression model may lead to a serious misleading estimates of this relationship as it will average the positive and negative effects from very low and very high regulation of course in this situation it would be a sensible it would be a possible to include non linear term in the regression model quantile denotes star refer to the pos position where an observation falls with an n ordered series for y for for example the mean is the observation in in the very middle the lower are 10th percentile in the value that places 10% of observation below it and so on more precisely we can define the ta tat quantile q ta of a random variable y having cumulative distribution as f function of y as okay we can write the uh, simple uh, quantile regression as it is it is uh, q, uh, q ta is equal to in in inf y a uh, y a function of y is greater than or equal than ta where inf refers to the infimum or the great greatest lower bound which, which you can say the smallest value uh, which is the smallest value of y satisfying the inequality but definition but the definition quantile must lie between 0 and 1 okay quantile regression take the concept of quantile a stage further and effectively model the entire conditional distribution of y given the explanatory variable thus they examine their impact on not only the location and scale of distribution of y but also on the shape of distribution as well so we can 
determine how the explanatory variable affect the fifth or nineteenth percentile of the distribution of y or its median and so on. Okay, let's uh, let's see the estimation procedure of quantile function in the same function in the same fashion as the ordinary least uh, estimator finds the mean value that minimize the sum of uh, square residual uh, because it is our uh, any type of regression the ultimate objective of any type of regression is uh, minimize the sum of uh, square residual okay minimizing the sum of absolute values of the residual will yield the median value by definition the absolute value function is symmetrical so that the median always has the same number of data points above it as below it but if instead the absolute residuals are weighted differently depending on whether they are positive or negative we can calculate the quantiles of the distribution to estimate the tath quantile we would set the weight on positive observation to which is the quantile of interest and and that on negative observation to uh, one minus star we can select the quantiles of interest but common choices would be 0 0.05 or uh, 0, uh, uh, 0 0.1 0 0.25 0 0.75 0 0.9 or 0 0.95 the fit is not always good for the values of of the tar 2 close to its limits of 0 and 1 so it is it is advisable to avoid such values we can uh, write the minimization problem for set of quantile regression parameters like uh, beta r hat each element of which is a k cross 1 vector as so far for the estimation procedure we can write the uh, uh, for the estimation procedure for the betas we can write the beta formula like that beta r hat is equal to agr minimum beta into uh, summation started from uh, i to y y i a greater than beta i x beta x i or ta is mod with the help of i minus beta x i e plus so on uh, 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 i uh, belongs to uh, y i is less than beta x i for this uh, x uh, 1 minus uh, ta uh, mod value y min y i minus beta x i so on this is the formula for the beta estimates okay the equation make it clear where the weighting enter into optimization for the median ta is equal to 0 0.5 and the weights are asymmetric but for all other quantiles they will be asymmetric this optimization problem can be solved by using a linear programming representative via the simple algorithm or generalized method of movement framework for 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 the proper understanding of the generalized method of movement uh, we will share a very informative video particular on gmm okay it is quite useful to plot each of the estimated parameters betas against the quantile ta so that we can see whether the estimates vary across the quantiles are or uh, roughly constant sometime uh, uh, minus plus two standard error bars are also included on the plot and these tend to widen as the limit of ta are approved uh, are approached producing these standard errors for quantile regression parameters is unforgettably a more complex conceptually than estimating the parameters themselves but uh, but using uh, uh, some assumption uh, con Conor uh, 2005 demonstrate that quartile regression uh, quantile regression parameters are are uh, symptotically in normalized uh, distribution so uh, we can see that uh, uh, 
manually the quantile regression is a very tough so far the, uh, for the more understanding of uh, of the practical implication or or uh, 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 for the uh, quantile regression we will uh, uh, share a uh, eviews video of uh, uh, quantile regression analysis so see you